What's up? Thank you for watching. I'm Ivan. I'm a screenwriter and welcome to my channel. Now, I want to give you a quick uh, kind of uh, thoughts on the Avatar re-release on IMAX 3D. I went to see it on opening day uh, about a week ago and I really recommend anybody that has a chance to go see it right now. It's still out in theaters right now on IMAX 3D and find uh, the best IMAX screen that you can find in town in your area. For me, the movie, I, when I saw it back in 2009, I was really hyped for it. When I saw it, uh, after I watched it, I won't lie, I was disappointed. I came off, I was uh, in the middle of screenwriting school and everything like that, and I was learning all these things. And I just saw through the flaws, through the movie, and I saw all the flaws in there. And one of the main flaws was that it had a weak villain. That was one of the biggest flaws. Uh, now a lot of people would say, oh, you know, it's a, it's just like a Pocahontas or it just steals from this. And that's not really my problem with the movie. It could do that, it could do its own thing with it. It wasn't exactly 100% Pocahontas. It could do its own thing with it and a different story. It was, it was different enough that it wasn't just a repeat of that. Uh, but I think that really great uh, fantasy action adventure movies really depend on a great villain so that you get a great hero and you get great, a great story. And the feeling for me felt like he just didn't have enough reasoning behind his, you know, his uh, evil actions. I guess he was just a military guy uh, who was just kind of just didn't like the Navi people, these al this alien race, and was just kind of like cold hearted. But also just I just remember like the movie is set in the future. Uh, you'd think that people would just be a little bit more kind of uh, have more a little bit understanding and just be a little bit more sensitive about alien life and how you treat them and just kind of learn from the history of uh, of earth and how we treated uh, natives and everything like that indigenous people in the past but I guess this is a fantasy sci-fi story where humans just didn't learn from their mistakes because I think it's kind of said in the movie how or in the, some of the fiction that earth was basically all the natural all the trees and everything like that were are gone and so the planet is just like a wasteland so i guess uh it's something that the humans in this story have not learned maybe that could be kind of a basis of why all these mercenaries are so cruel to the navi people to this uh wilderness to this planet but i just think that the villain needed more reasoning i think the one the villain that had the most reasoning behind his actions was the was the the corporate guy you know the corporate guy that was telling them go in there there's a lot of uh what is it you're there's a lot of that uh, material underground and we need to get it because it's worth millions of dollars. At least he had something to do. So I think the, the colonel needed uh, something else, kind of like a motivation where he felt that he was doing something good, but at the end he was doing something bad. I think that would have been just a better way to go about it. But uh, the movie aside, you know, it's an amazing experience in the theater, especially in IMAX 3D. They really did a good job on the 4K. Uh, like seriously, my jaw was dropped a lot in a lot of the scenes where uh, you have uh, the action and the scenes where they're flying on those uh, on, on those beasts, those flying beasts and everything like that. And just uh, a lot of the environments and just seeing uh, this movie again, it almost felt like a, just a fresh new experience watching this movie. Uh, I do admit that I had not seen this movie since 2009 or a little bit after that. I guess I think I rewatched it on, on DVD after that but I don't remember, but as a full, like, full watch, paid attention. It wasn't since 2009 on the theater in IMAX 3D also. But it was nice to see it on IMAX 3D, and I'm looking forward to the sequel. That's why I went to see it also. I hope the sequel does a way better job than the first movie and is a better movie. Do I think it's a masterpiece? I don't think the, the movie, as with the story that it has, is a masterpiece. I think it's a visual, uh, visual masterpiece uh, just the way that the the world building was done in that movie and everything like that and the action and the way the movie was made I think that was very masterfully done and I think they're gonna revolutionize uh, Even more filmmaking with the second with the second movie with the sequel So go see the movie if you get a chance It's definitely worth the watch on the big screen on IMAX 3 especially all those great action sequences and all those great uh, environments and just the story itself Go check it out if you can. Uh, if I have to give it a review out of 10, the story, I give the story a uh, 7.5. I'll give the story a 7.5.
and I'll give the visuals and the presentation and all of the action, I will give it a 9.5. So that's my review and my recommendation for Avatar re-release on IMAX 3D. Go check it out if you can, as soon as you can before it leaves the theaters. Uh, so you can set up for Avatar 2 this December. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, subscribe so you can see more video reviews about movies here on my channel. This channel is mostly theme park based, but I will be doing, I will be solely transitioning this channel over time to a channel where I talk about mostly movies. I will still have theme park content because I like theme parks, but it will become even more limited. I'm a screenwriter. I love movies, uh, as you can see. And for me, I love talking about movies and I love just watching movies and I love even writing movies and hopefully making movies, making short movies and put them also here, hopefully on my YouTube channel in the near future, uh, my own original stories or even like Star Wars fan films or anything like that. So just uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more theme park videos, more theme park vlogs and so forth. Thank you again and I'll see you guys next time.